Hello guys, this is Amos Stole Music and in today's video I'm going to explain to you how to use Minecraft Note Blocks and how you can use Minecraft Note Blocks Studio to easily create your favorite songs and import it into your own Minecraft world in no time. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the Minecraft note blocks is very easy to understand. You put a Minecraft note block on top of another specific block and it will give you a specific sound from a specific instrument, okay? So there are many different instruments you can use using Minecraft note blocks and I'll explain them right now. So put a note block on top of dirt. It gives you this kind of like uh, piano harp sound, okay? Put it on top of uh, wood plank. This is a double bass sound, okay? Put it on top of stone. This is a bass kick drum, put on top of sand. This is a snare drum, put on top of glass. Is a click sound. So these three are percussive kind of like beat making device, okay? And these two are the vanilla original kind of Minecraft note block sounds, okay? Now, put on top of wool, gives you this nice guitar sound. Put on top of clay. This is kind of like a woodwind flute instrument, okay? Put it on top of Gold block, this is a nice bell sound. Put on top of, um, I would have it, this is ice. This is a similar sound, but this is the chime or wind chime sound. Put on top of bone block, this is xylophone. So it's pretty cool because bone is like spooky, scary skeletons. And yeah, that's using the kind of like xylophone sound. Okay, so these are the main blocks that I'm going to teach you because uh, afterwards I'm also going to teach you how to use Minecraft uh, Note Block Studios and these are the blocks that is used there. And these are the pre 1.12 and previous like sounds. Yeah, because these ones are the newer snapshot sounds. Uh, right now I'm actually on 1.12 and I can't actually play these sounds, but I'll quickly explain these sounds to you as well. So put a note block on top of uh, iron block gives you a vibraphone sound. It's like similar to xylophone, but a tiny bit different. You can test it out for yourself, okay? Put it on top of soul sand. It's a cowbell sound. Put it on top of pumpkin. It's a didgeridoo sound. And then now, put it on top of an emerald block. It's like a 8-bit sound. So you know like um, uh, the Game Boy Mario songs or like Tetris. It's that kind of sound. It's pretty awesome. This one is actually pretty awesome. Yeah. And then put it on top of haystack. That is a um, banjo sound. So great for country songs, I guess. And then um, put on top of glowstone, this is interesting um, instrument name. It's called Pling. It's basically like a stronger or more intense version of the harp. Okay, so you can test all these out for yourself if you're on 1.14, the newest snapshot. So yeah, test that. Okay, another thing, very important, is to know the note ranges. Okay, so if you know um, music, uh, yeah, knowing the note ranges will save you a lot of time. So basically, just show you. Okay, so let me see. The lowest note is F sharp, okay? And then the highest note is two octaves above F sharp. So pretty much there are three F sharps. So the uh, lower F sharp and then the middle F sharp and then the higher F sharp. So basically you have, uh, let me see. Is it 25 notes? Yeah, okay, so basically two octaves worth of notes, okay? Starting on the F sharp, okay? So that's very important. Okay, now that you know the basics of the notes and sounds, and if you are like me, a redstone noob, then uh, you can go ahead and use this awesome program called Minecraft Note Studios to make your creation using music theory. Let's go. Okay, here we are in Minecraft Note Block Studio, okay? And just as I've shown you before, here are the nine sounds. You can select the instruments, harp, uh, double bass, bass drum, snare drum, click, uh, guitar, flute, bell, chime, and the xylophone, okay? And you can put these instruments into these different layers, okay? So there are 23 layers maximum that you can put into it. That's plenty for, okay? All you need is pretty much like a few layers. And then also you can select the different notes. As I said before, look, it goes from the F sharp, up an octave to the F sharp, up an octave to the F sharp. So that's the range. So you can select from these notes uh, on the piano. So that's why it's pretty important to know a bit of music theory. It will be a lot easier for you to like make songs, okay? We're using this keyboard like this because you know exactly what notes to do. 
Okay, so all you need to do is like draw up one of my piano tutorials because my piano tutorials are step-by-step -step piano tutorials telling you the melody and chords of a song, okay? So pretty much, for example, you can select something like Shape of You, that's a simple song to do. So Shape of You, it starts on the C sharp on the melody line, so put C sharp here and then one, two, three, one, two, three, so on the third here, one, two, three, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, one, two, yeah, and then you can repeat it. So you can like drag this and then copy. So you don't have to like um, put the same thing again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and then one more time. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and then it goes D sharp, C sharp, B. Yeah. And that's that. And then you can add the bass to change the instrument to double bass. So yeah, and then do on the second layer so it's less confusing and doesn't overlap. Okay, so C sharp, and then down to F sharp, and then A, B. Yeah, so do, like uh, you know how I teach in the chords, right? So just do the bottom note of the chords, okay? Because sometimes if you do like, a whole block chord, it seems to like, I don't know, it's, it doesn't sound as good with Minecraft note blocks. It's, the Minecraft note blocks, uh, it's better to actually have individual voicings, okay? So yeah, that's that, and you can, yeah. So the player here is really simple. You can see play, pause, and then like rewind and forward, and then yeah. So yeah, so you can just hear the song as you're like, uh, like creating it. Like that, okay, and yeah. You can select the speed here, so you can see it says 10T um, slash S. So you can drag that down to make it slower, drag it up to make it faster, okay? But in general, um, uh, if you want to import it into Minecraft, the best speeds, like I mean, the only speeds that it gives you is 10, 5, and I think 2.5, I think. Let me just double check. So if I wanted to export it, yeah, 10, 5, and 2.5, that's right. So these are the uh, only few rhythms if you want to like actually put it into your uh, Minecraft world, okay? But anyways, yeah, so let me see. Let's put it up to 5. All right, let's see. Yeah, so it sounds a bit better at that speed. The other one at 10 is a bit too fast, so yeah. So now, after that, doing the um, melody and then also the bass note, you can start to add percussive sounds to it. So you could be like, here's the bass drum. Okay, let's have a listen. Yeah, and then you can add like a snare to it on every second beat as well. Like that, let's have a listen. Yeah, nice, okay, and then you can add like a click to it as I didn't. Let me see, we can put it into here. Let's see how that sounds. Okay, dun, 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 dun. every like two beats like this. Okay, let's have a listen. Yeah. Sounds awesome, okay? And then once you like this loop, you can like um, copy it and then you can make, uh, repeat it. So you didn't have to like write all this again. So that's like the benefit of um, this Minecraft Noteblock Studio. It will save you a lot of time. So you didn't have to like repeat the same thing because sometimes a lot of pop songs, they have a lot of repeats. So it's best to actually do it like this, okay? So you can repeat it like say uh, four times. Let me see. Okay, so. Second time. And then you can add like the, I'm in love with a shape of you with a different instrument. Yeah, let's see, we can do like, bell sounds pretty good. Yeah, so it'd be like. Okay say here.
Yeah. Da 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 da. One two. Dun dun one two da 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 da. Yep. Yep. And then you can do that similar. Uh, so this one was at the C sharp, so we do it here. Da -da. The C sharp. Changes to C sharp. Yeah, I'm gonna repeat this. Okay, so back to the C sharp here. So here. Da -da. Sounds awesome. Yeah, so like that's just like that, okay? So once you're done with your song, you can like make your song a lot longer and add a lot of stuff in um uh, uh, like as you want but you can see look how quick it was if you know the melody and chords and then you can just play around like that okay so after you're done with it you all you need to do is go file and then you go export either as mp3 if you just want to listen to it but if you want to put it into your minecraft world you need to export as um, schematic yeah you export that file and then like save that file to somewhere that you know and then yeah it goes to the next um, stage where you go into the uh, Minecraft MC Edit and then you can put it into your world. I'll also teach you as well. Okay, now here we are in MC Edit. So you come here once you finish your Minecraft uh, song on the Minecraft Noteblock Studio and you save that as a schematic and you come here. So you go to the world that you want to import your uh, Noteblock creation and you go Import and then you go Import again. And then you just go to the file where you saved it as the schematic. Yeah, there you go. And what you need to do, you need to adjust it a little bit sometimes because it also overlap with another block. So um, yeah, you just move it with the coordinates. Okay. Yeah, something like that, all right? Yeah, okay. And then you just go confirm and then you just save it. Uh, yeah, and then you can go into your actual game and actually you can find this creation. Okay, so you go back into the world where you imported your schematic in and yeah, as remember, we at the start we had like this and then we imported it and it was, should be behind us. Ready? There it is, okay. There is our creation and all you need to do is press the button and have a listen to your creation. Beautiful. And there you have it. It's simple as that. Follow all these instructions in this video and you'll be able to make your favorite songs in no time. Especially you can use my piano tutorials on YouTube. I literally have multiple thousands of them. So you can like just pretty much uh, get those uh, melody notes, okay? And the chords or the bass notes and then put it into Minecraft, the Noteblock Studios and then export it. And not, yeah, export it and then import it into your own uh, Minecraft world. Yeah. As for now, enjoy this awesome video, enjoy making your own songs, and as for now, enjoy time around my channel, and see you next time.